Hello, welcome back to lesson three on 3D drawing for your model railways. Um, in the last lesson, we created this relay cabinet with a slanted roof and a little lip on the top. And today what we're going to do is we're going to show you how you can either save this drawing and create a new one um, so that we can change the, the top to a pitched version or we can change it within the history at the bottom here to achieve the same thing. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is save this under a different file name so we can make a change to this. So do file, save as, change that. So we all lesson three. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to remove the top lip and the slanted angle off the, the, the roof going using our history at the bottom here. So if we're going to scroll down through the history and we're going to find the bit that highlights the top roof. I'm going to click on it, right click, delete, and that deletes the little lip. We'll remove the drawing as well using the same thing, right click, delete. And then we'll again identify the extrusion that's removed the angle off the top and delete that as well. And we'll take the drawing off it as well. So now we're back to having this flat roof. Because we were able to go back in history, we've kept the little door handles that we've added. What we'll now do is add on the top a pitched roof. So we'll create a new sketch, select the side plane, and we're going to use that line tool that we were using on the last lesson. Select the edge point, come across until we've reached the midpoint, and we're going to raise it up. We're going to define it as 25 degree angle, and we'll come up to that midpoint. I'm going to scroll in just so you can see a little better with where the dash line is. There it is, and it's locked into that middle. It then wants to continue on to draw the next line down, so we're going to bring that down to the corner. As we've done that one, you can see that it's undefined because it hasn't got the angle drawn on it. So we'll go up to our sketch dimensions, we'll click the line we've just drawn down to the edge that we wanted, and you can see it now puts the angle in there. It's already defined to 25 degrees, and then we can Press escape so we get back to the normal cursor. Right click, extrude. And again, what we were doing last lesson is we were just dragging the arrow across to extrude all the way across the, the, the object we want. I'm going to show you a little trick here. If we again, if we just click on the side face on the other side, it will automatically drag that extrusion all the way across. And then we can click OK. And now we've got a pitched roof. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is show you a different way to achieve the same thing. We're going to go back to the original one that we were working on on the last lesson, and we had that slanted roof. And we're going to use the history file in a slightly different way here. What we're going to do is we're actually going to tell it to ignore parts of the history. So in this one, we can click on the object for the, the lip, right click, suppress the feature. And then we'll find the cut or the extrusion we did and suppress that feature. So now we've got back to the flat roof. Then we can just do what we've just done in the last one where we draw on the side face, create a line across the midpoint, angles at 25, degree, 25 degrees. Where is it? Where's that midpoint? There it is. And then down to the other side. Define the angle again, 25 degrees. And then extrude that across our object to the other side. And we've got our angled pitch roof. So both ways are perfectly usable. What we can now do when you've got this version is you can if you wanted to, you could tell it to suppress the pitched roof and then unsuppress the angled roof. So you have two ways of going about the same thing, potentially only creating one file. It's up to you which version you use. There's no right or wrong way. The more complex the item is, it's probably better to do save as and create two different files. Um, but if it's just a little cheat like that, 
it, it's just as good to use to use the one. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.